how do you get Tidy Tuesday data into our studio so that you can practice your data analysis, practice your data visualization. I'm gonna teach you how to do that right now. It's easier than you think, and it's really a beautiful, simple process. Let's do this, boom shakalaka. First of all, you need to install the package uh, Tidy Tuesday R. Once you've installed it, you call it with the library, library function like I've done right here. And once you've done that, you've got access to a couple of additional functions, and I'm gonna walk you through them quite quickly. Um, you're not gonna find this difficult at all. First of all, you can put TT underscore available, and that'll give you down here um, all of the available data sets in Tidy Tuesday. I've, in this case, just said Tidy Tuesday data sets 2001, and that's given us the 2001 data sets, and you can see there's a new one for every week. Take note that there's, it tells you, it, you, can, you can click on the data, the source, and information about it, and the articles. Take note of the date and the week that you that next next to the data set that you're looking at. And the reason that that's useful is because of the next function I'm going to teach you, which is this, the TT load function, right? So I'm creating a, uh, a, a data object here called choose data, and that's equal to TT underscore load. And here you can use either the date or the year and the week. And when you do that, that data object, when you run that, it's going to produce this over here. Now, in this case, this particular data set, the nurses, one which is down there somewhere, um, just has one data set. Sometimes there's more than one, right? So in this case, there's just nurses, but sometimes uh, you'll, you'll get a few data sets that pop up. To see what data sets have become available, you can simply do names, and in this case, it's just nurses, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, here's where things get useful. If you say dot, create another data, data object called data frame, in this case df, and that's equal to choose data, okay, which is this data object we've created, then uh, a, a dollar sign and nurse is the name of the data set from the, you know, the collection of data sets that you've brought in. In this case, there was only one, but there may be others, right? And when you do that, it's going to create a, uh, a data frame which is the actual data that you can use to analyze, uh, do your data visualization, do your data wrangling, practice your, your you know, everything you want to learn in R. Up for you, right? If you go to GitHub, right, um, R for Data Sciences forward slash uh, Tidy Tuesday. So here's the address up here, github.com forward slash R for Data Scientists, GitHub. Right, the, here is where everything sits. And if you click on data, that's gonna bring you here. And you can scroll down through all of the years, go to the year you're interested in this case, uh, 2021, October the 5th, the, 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 the nurses data set. And there's information about it, very useful, but importantly, there is the data dictionary. So for each of the variables, there's a description of what it means so that you can do a meaningful analysis of that data set. So really easy. Tidy Tuesday is used by all sorts of people all over the internet. Uh, basically, it's real world data and you can use it to, to practice your analysis. And when you see videos on YouTube, people often use Tidy Tuesday data. What I would encourage you to do is try to replicate what they've done or do your own analysis, but practice your data wrangling. I hope this was useful. Don't ever change. Don't do drugs. Always do your best. Subscribe, comment, etc., etc. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.